few months back, we had a training at the regional office in the Upper River region of the country, which is the easternmost part of Gambia. At this meeting, we met someone who was kind of one of the leads at my region's regional office for, the, for education in that region. She asked that I conduct a training at our annual cluster Bantaba. Bantaba is like a porch in Gambia, so the idea is like all the schools in our cluster, about 15 schools in this area, they'll come together every year and they'll talk about whatever problems and everything else they need to talk about. And I was asked to create a workshop based on what we had learned um, at that training a few months back in Basse. So this video is going to be about what that workshop is. What I was not able to get on film, I'm going to explain here now. So the first thing was that I took one of my teachers to my school to that boss to that workshop in Basse a few months ago, and we went we went there. We learned she did fantastic. Um, so we brought so I brought her along as my partner, as my co-conspirator, to this workshop at the Cluster Bantaba. And um, and I also had the opportunity to work with our cluster monitor, who's kind of like one tier above, like that principal head teacher, um, who monitors the 15 schools in our cluster. And then he also summoned, upon my request, he summoned another two teachers to help out. And I trained them day of. I trained them each in one game, and they did a really good job um, teaching the game, as you'll see. But I just wanted to say, like, I'm really proud of the work that they've done, how enthusiastic the teachers were. Um, so. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of it. Let me show you what the heck we did at this cluster bounce of it. If I say go, you open and find your hand. One, two, three, go. We did it, all of us, we have a partner. This time I fix it. So that we can see. Others may not have a partner, others may have a partner. This is made to be seen. It's applicable from ECD to create. Mr. Jolly, who holds the record so far? So far, I think it's the first group. Mm. Yeah, but now I have decided to change the rules. Okay. Instead of um, picking from the patterns to the numbers, now you uh, now you pick from the uh, you pick from the pattern and then you match it with the numbers. Hence, the there is a reflection of the patterns behind. Good. So I think there is going to be more. Good. I I appreciate that critical thinking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. Of course. Rotate. Time to rotate. You can continue. Okay, good. You're waiting. Thank you. 
Very good. So you have spent some time playing games. Um, so you had some experience, right? I'm sure in those games, it was not just the teacher talking at you for eight minutes. You were interacting, you were having fun. Now is your opportunity to take what you've learned and bring it to your own classroom. We have vanguards, we have scissors, we have a ruler. So I would encourage you to make a teaching aid that you can bring to your classroom. I don't just want a vanguard. Like it, let it be interactive. Let the students touch it or play a game with it or something like that. You will not be able to bring something to all of your classrooms, but help help some of you be a team and create a good resource for maybe one or two. Does that make sense? Yeah. They can arrange the, the, the letters in order. Okay. They're starting from A to Z. Good. You can mix them and ask them to arrange it. Maybe not order. Order. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about your teaching aid. Okay, what do we have so far here is words and diagrams. Whereas we ask students to maybe match the words and the diagram that it um, it match with. So from the game that we have just been uh, playing, we are going to talk all these cards like this, and the words will be separately. So, Sidi, can you demonstrate how you are going to play this game? Okay, like you are going to uh, pick uh, a diagram and match the name of the diagram. Yes. Okay. For example, what this diagram is, is this? This is Apple. Yeah. You recite the name of Apple. This is Apple. Yeah. Yeah. This is Apple. Good. Apple and the diagram. Good. That's great. I admire. So you took a math resource yeah. and you adapted it and for English class. Yeah. Oh, that is brilliant. That's so great. Thank you so much. Yeah. We have a tab. And we are going to choose the letters to spell the word tab. Let's see tab. Like we have a tab. Like we start here again. We had some fun today. We all made some good interactive teaching aids. But you, we are all very smart people. So I want us to think critically. What part, why was this fun? Were our facilitators, were they talking to you the whole time and were, were you silent the whole time? You were? You were engaged. What were some ways in which you engaged in your learning? Counting. We were interacting with the cards. Interacting with the cards. What else? Counting. We got counting, yeah? Playing games. Playing games. Matching. 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 Good, good. And so, remember, these are all great strategies, and none of them are restricted to mathematics alone. Right? I saw one group, they took one of the games from mathematics, and they applied it to English, right? They had the words written in English and the pictures. So like they wrote the word table and they had the picture of a table. So it's still that same idea of matching. Uh, lecturing is really important for education, but it should not be the only way that you teach, especially for, the, for those early grades, which you know, they can be somehow stubborn. So you want to make sure that they are enjoying, right? Um, so if you have the opportunity to make games in your classroom, make sure that they're staying engaged. That's gonna be helpful. What was the most fun game someone played? What do you think was the best game today? 
The number and pattern. Say again? The number and pattern. The number yeah. and pattern is good. Tell, tell us why. Why was that your favorite game? Because it helped you to uh, the mind and the, the hand. Yeah, the hands are doing work. So for those students who are tactile learners, for students that learn by touching, that's a really important game. And also, uh, children like football. So uh, in mathematics, when you involve the ball uh, and numbers, it was uh, um, a way of helping them to think critically, to say a number, and then it will make them be alert because they can be chosen to to read out a number anytime yeah. when the ball is thrown to them. So it's it encourages critical thinking. I think he is right. All right, thank you all so very much. We're going to move on to the next thing. I just want to say thank you for your attention, thank you for your effort, thank you for your participation. I hope you learned something. Thank you all very much. All right.